Here's a live look over Honda of Lincoln and well, I, I'll fa let's face it, there's just not much to see and I'll be honest, I'm getting kind of sick of it. Uh, I'm tired of the dry weather and I want some precipitation to kind of spice up things here in the weather center, uh, but that's just not going to be the case tonight. One thing we can be excited about is we are adding daylight today. Sunset was at 559. Tomorrow it'll be at 601. So tomorrow is our first 6 p.m. sunset of the year. We have 616 two weeks from today, a little over 11 hours of daylight in two weeks. Four weeks from now, actually to this day, uh, we will enter daylight saving time. And they will have sunsets beyond 7 o'clock, uh, daylight approaching 12 hours. At that point, six weeks from now, uh, daylight will exceed uh, 12 hours with a sunset time of 747. So we are gaining quite a bit of daylight as we get closer and closer towards spring. Here's a look at temperatures right now in the lower 30s in Lincoln, 31 degrees, the current temperature at Lincoln Airport, upper 20s in Beatrice at 29 degrees, 28 in Wahoo. But we're still hanging on to the middle 30s out towards the Tri-Cities, 35 right now in Kearney, 34 degrees in Grand Island and Hastings. Here's a look at the jet stream right now. We have uh, what we call a jet streak off to our north. This is a minor disturbance and it's creating some clouds just to the southwest of the jet core right here where the fastest wind speeds are aloft. We can see some of those clouds over Rapid City right now and they're trying to stream off towards the southeast, uh, move their way into northern Nebraska. But admittedly, in southern Nebraska, we're not seeing all too much. Uh, we can't rule out a couple of these clouds filtering their way overhead in Lincoln over the next couple of hours. But as we get past midnight, a lot of these clouds are just going to fizzle out as we see on Stormcast here, waking up to mostly sunny skies tomorrow morning. Not much to to see on uh, Stormcast, just a big gray map. As you go into tomorrow afternoon, we're looking at mostly sunny skies. Could see a few high level clouds trying to filter their way in. And then tomorrow evening, I do think we'll have some more clouds trying to re enter the picture, but still uh, partly cloudy on average tomorrow evening. So for tonight, mostly clear skies. The most clearing taking place in the overnight hours 21 degrees. That is our forecast low. For your Valentine's Day, we will turn warmer. We were stuck in the 30s this afternoon. Uh, we'll trade that for middle 40s tomorrow, uh, becoming warmer with lots of sunshine and there's something else that is not pictured here that's going to be in the air tomorrow. See this? Love is going to be in the air <laughs> tomorrow afternoon. Here's a look at our Valentine's Day forecast as the love is in the air. It will also be mostly sunny by 6 p.m. Temperatures in the middle 30s. Temperatures dropping to the lower 30s by 7 p.m. Perhaps in the upper 20s to low 30s by 8 o'clock. So we will be warm on Tuesday as well. This is a look at highs, generally speaking, on Tuesday afternoon in the upper 50s, uh, perhaps even lower 60s in some locations. But then a cold front moves on by late Tuesday into early Wednesday. That should drop temperatures for the afternoon on Wednesday. As the cold front continues to push off towards the east, we'll be watching some precipitation developing off towards the east. That's where I think the bulk of it will be. However, as an upper level disturbance approaches, I can't rule out a couple of flurries in southeast Nebraska. This model is showing it mainly west of Lincoln, but we won't rule it out for Lincoln as well. The problem is we are going to be contending with a lot of dry air on Wednesday, so these are only going to be isolated in scope, and I don't think they're going to produce much as far as accumulations go. Either way you slice it, we do turn cooler on Wednesday, 37 degrees, even colder on Thursday, 32 the high with the low of 13 in the morning. After Thursday, temperatures go right back up. Check it out Friday. Mostly sunny, 57 degrees, perhaps slightly cooler on Saturday with wall-to-wall -wall sunshine. And then the 60s return by the end of next weekend. Uh, if we were looking for our next weather maker, that looks like it's going to be the following Tuesday. So still looking like a very dry 10-day outlook.